Uh, I want to go back uh, when you were talking a little bit about also like this. I mean, one one huge challenge on becoming a a digital company, the entire part of digital innovation is pretty much like cybersecurity and the entire risk yes. management process around it. Um, can you please expand like like why is cybersecurity like a challenge in, for this industry, like oil and gas in particular? Well, cyber is viewed by uh, executives and boards now in every industry as a as a kind of red line you just don't cross, uh, because the consequences of a cyber attack can be for a heavy industry for for any industry can be pretty dramatic. Now you'd be simply shut down operations. A cyber attack in a power facility, for instance, could pull put put millions of people without power. So cyber is very, very critical issue. So it's uh, so that's that's the first thing. It's the, it's at the highest level of importance uh, for boards and uh, managers. Um, there are two kinds of cyber challenges that I see. Uh, challenge one is the intentional cyber. You know, guy with a hoodie and he's in his basement and he's hacking away trying to you know figure out how to penetrate your company and steal your stuff. That's that's one model, intentional cyber activity. And that, that's uh, a, a real challenge for companies because state actors get behind it and we don't know who they are and, and their purpose can be non-financial, could be just straight up disruption. Hackers in Ukraine right now are trying to disrupt Russia's uh, power industry and oil and gas industry by putting viruses and bugs into Russian oil infrastructure. So that's what I call malicious intentional cyber activity. And then, but, but in industry, you know, the far bigger challenge is unintentional cyber failure. And that's a, where a, someone is not a cyber actor. In other words, they're not intentionally trying to be, um, create a cyber problem. But by virtue of their choices or actions, they become a, they, they create a cyber incident. And that cyber incident can have similar ramifications to a hacker breaking into your, into your facility. And so it's little things like that. We have to kind of keep both of these in mind. The one that gets all the press and is very visible is the out external cyber problems. That's where we all, because we all see it. But the internal cyber challenges, which are not uh, malicious in, intentionally, but still happen, those are far bigger, more frequent, happen all the time. And so we have these two challenges. Uh, so, uh, and then the third problem with cyber is that the more we roll out digital capabilities into industrial landscape, the greater playground do we create, or if, or is use cyber language, attack surface. We've created more po points where people can attack our infrastructure, and where problems can arise. Uh, so we have a greater a greater playground for for cyber activity. And, and frequently, unfortunately, still, but it's improving uh, all the time. Much of this digital innovation going into our infrastructure uh, does not have the built-in cyber smarts that you know we now come to expect, uh, given the the amount of cyber activity out there. So the industrial entrepreneurs who are building things like Internet of Things are still thinking like cyber doesn't really affect my my little innovation when when in fact it should. So we, we still have far too much of our infrastructure doesn't have any cyber protections at all. So suffice to say, cyber is <laughs> it's a big problem. And uh, you know, it's, it's lucrative for the crooks. It's uh, ever present for the, you know, just in the unintentional side. And the consequences can be very severe. So it's, it's, it continues to be a big deal.